Hello battery lovers! I've tested a lot of cells of different brands, but only two or three of them were Sony, and it's time to change that. This time I've tested Sony VTC5, a high drain medium capacity 18650 lithium ion cell, which is rated at 2600 mAh and can be continuously discharged at up to 40 amps if there is a temperature control, which can cut the discharge process if the cell gets as hot as 80 degrees Celsius. With no control, 20 amp discharge is allowed. Also, I should mention that the VTC5 can hold 100 amps during 3 seconds. Just imagine that. Well, there are not so many cells which can compete with this guy, but I'm gonna compare it with Samsung 25R, another hydrogen cell with very close specifications. But before that, let me remind you my testing conditions and show my equipment. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell tested by me has the following marking on its shrink tube. SEUS 1650 VTC5 C5G 01737-46 ZC19U. The cell was manufactured on 19 March 2017 by Sony Electronics Singapore. Sony VTC5 has the following specs according to its datasheet. Rated capacity 2500 mAh with 2 volt discharge cutoff voltage. Nominal capacity 2600 mAh again with 2 volt discharge cutoff. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 2.5 amps. Charge end voltage 4.2 volts. Maximum charge current 4 amps. Ambient temperature range during charging from 0 to 60 degrees. Recommended charge and voltage when the air temperature is less than 10 degrees or more than 45 degrees, 4.15 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current, 20 amps or 40 amps with 80 degrees temperature cut. Maximum pulse discharge current, 100 amps during less than 3 seconds. Discharge cutoff voltage, 2.5 volts. Ambient temperature range during discharging, from minus 20 to 60 degrees. AC impedance from 8 to 18 milliohms. Weight about 44.3 grams. Cycle life. After 300 cycles at 4 amp charge with 100 milliamp cutoff, then 10 amp discharge with 2.5 volt cutoff, the capacity should be more than 1750 milliamp hours, which is equal to 70% of rated capacity. The measured weight of my cell was 44.12 grams. The measured diameter was 18.2 mm and it was 65 mm long. The DC internal resistance measured at 2.5 amps in fully charged condition was around 14.6 mm. Now let's look at numbers and curves. Sony again uses 2 volt discharge cutoff at 0.2C to pop up the capacity rating, but at all the rest of discharge rate 2.5 volt cutoff is used. So at 0.2C or 0.5 amps, with 2 volt discharge cutoff voltage, Sony VTC5 gave out 2665 mAh or 9740 milliwatt hours. At 5 amp discharge with 2.5 volt cutoff, it gave out 2479 mAh or 8647 milliwatt hours. At 10 amp discharge, the result was 2528 mAh or 8493 milliwatt hours. At 15 amps, 2544 mAh or 8286 milliwatt hours. 
At 20 amp discharge, it showed 2542 milliamp hours or 8056 milliwatt hours. 2.5 volt discharge cutoff voltage was used everywhere except 0.2C test. Pay attention to the curves, especially at higher rates. They are almost linear. As I promised, I'll compare Sony VTC5 to Samsung 25R because the latter has similar specs. 25R is a 2500 mAh rated hydrogen cell which supports continuous discharge at up to 20 amps and also has 2.5 volt discharge cutoff voltage. But the VTC5 standard charge current is 2.5 amps, twice higher than the 1.25 amps of 25R, which means that you're gonna have your Sony cell charged to 80% twice faster than the Samsung cell. At 5 amp discharge, the difference in capacity is only 10 milliamp hours in favor of VTC5 and 18 milliwatt hours in 25R's favor. Pay attention to how miserable the difference is and look at the curves, they are almost identical. Now let's pass to comparison at 10 amp discharge. The difference has raised to 58 milliamp hours in capacity and 173 milliwatt hours in energy in favor of VTC5. But again, look at the curves. Most of the time they go head to head and only in the end Sony VTC5 pushes ahead. At 15 amp discharge the picture changes a bit. The difference is 64 milliamp hours in capacity and 145 milliwatt hours in energy, again in VTC5's favor. But most of the time Samsung's voltage is higher than Sony's and only in the end Sony overtakes. The same situation we can see at 20 amp discharge. The difference is 96 milliamp hours in capacity and 226 milliwatt hours in energy in favor of Sony VTC5. The almost linear curves of VTC5 mean that the capacity meters based on the voltage measurement will show more accurate state of charge with Sony. Samsung's voltage is higher most of the time and Sony overcomes only in the end. So who's the winner? Sony has a bit higher capacity but the difference is so small that I can't tell that 25R is worse than VTC5. So let's just say there is no clear winner at this time. At the end of the day, Sony VTC5 appears to be an excellent hydrogen cell which is not a surprise for me. Its capacity was higher than 2500 mAh at all discharge rates except 5 amps and it can hold even 40 amps if properly cooled. Once again I should mention Sony's strange habit to measure the nominal capacity discharging at 0.2C down to 2 volts, but it doesn't add much in comparison with 2.5 volt cutoff, so VTC5 is a 2600 mAh cell for sure. That's all I was going to tell you about VTC5. Hit the like button if this video was interesting, share it, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos. See you guys!